All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to look at the other new units uh, from the batch of units that is going to arrive. Uh, we have the transforming Super Saiyan Goku, who, I mean, a lot of you guys might know, has pretty much the best DM Super Attack animations in the game. I, I, I would actually say he is my favorite. Now, we also have the second form Frieza. Now, this Frieza, I don't want this Frieza to get swept under the rug because this is... Uh, he might be... Let's not count the free-to-play LRs, right? Not counting the free-to-play LRs, I feel like a case could be made that this is the best free-to-play unit in the game, right? Outside of free-to-play LRs. Like, this this freeze is just disgusting. Like, he, he, he checks every marker, right? He's an AoE unit. Again, he's free. Uh, he's a transformation boost category leader. Uh, to the point where I actually think he'll probably be a, a relatively strong option as a leader in the world tournament we'll talk more about that later on in the video uh he has a good passive he actually has this guy has an active skill he like it's a free unit with an active skill uh he gives himself key if there's multiple enemies he also does uh like lower oh okay okay what he also does is he gets additional attack if the enemy is in the defense down status let me check real quick if i have I'm looking for, yeah, this one right here. Uh, I could use this to lower enemy defense for a couple of turns. So let me go ahead and grab this. Oh, that or the Nurse Chi Chi would work. Uh, I I'm curious if I could pop this, if then that will activate that last part of Second Form Freeze's passive, right? So we're going to go ahead and hop into an event. Now, I'm only going to go into the AGL Rosé event. So, like, right, we're not going into some really, really difficult event to, you know, test out how good Frieza works there. Uh, this is more so, I want to see a lot of Frieza's abilities in action, like his active skill and things. Uh, and, you know, okay, so so let me just talk about his active skill real quick, real quick, okay? So, he, it, it's an attack, you know, just like the, uh, you know, Super Saiyan uh, Force or, or whatever, you know. Uh, so, it does supreme damage, uh, and it greatly lowers attack and defense, right? Now, that's important because I think on the turn where you activate his active skill... Uh, then you'll lower the enemy's defense, so then that will activate the last part of his passive, which is where he does additional attack when the enemy is hit with the defensive down status, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, now, this ability can only be activated when there's three or more enemies, so of course that is going to be a bit of an issue. I will probably head over to the Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku event, I think. Uh, so we can kind of see his active skill actually be utilized in action, right? Because, you know, again, like, three turns is not really a big deal. But three enemies, that's tough, right? There's there's not that many battles in the game that are going to have that many enemies. And then specifically, not that many fights in the game that have that many enemies. I mean, outside of, like, Super Battle Road, right? So, like, this Frieza certainly will be good for Super Battle Road. He's another option. Like, both this and the AGL Frieza are like tremendous options uh, for the uh, Super Battle Road stages. So that's going to be very, very good, right? So let's see how much damage this Frieza will do. Uh, linked up with, you know, AGL Metal Cooler, having Turles on rotation, 860,000. We are on a 170% lead team. Oh, okay. <laughs> he one-shotted uh, our boy uh, AGL Rosé right there. Uh, but again, I, just like AoE units are... I, I think that's a very, very helpful thing to give us more AoE units, enabling us to, like, you know, have more options for the World Tournament and stuff like that. Uh, I, I just think bringing all types of different units is a good idea, right? Uh, now, for, Second Form Frieza, there was not, like, a good Second Form Frieza in the game anyway, right? So, not really that big of a deal. But for something like, I don't know, like Super Saiyan Goku, I don't know, maybe Super Saiyan Vegeta... Uh, Rage Trunks, like, you know, characters that have, like, just a massive pool of characters, I think it is good to release, like, versions of those characters that do drastically different things or can help you in various different ways rather than all just making them, like, generic, like, hard hitters or something like that, right? So, like, I don't know. For example, right, uh, Rage Trunks has a good defensive tank in the uh, SCR Rage Trunks. Uh, he has a nuker who's pretty bad right now in the Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks. Uh, and then he also has a top-tier support type option uh, in the Physical Rage Trunks. Well, what if they gave us, like, an AGL Rage Trunks uh, who is just, like, a gigantic stunner or sealer, right? Like, have him... 
be the Rage Trunks who could use the Mafuba. I feel like that would work really well. A Rage Trunks that uses a Mafuba that could seal or stun, greatly lower attack, something along those lines, I think that would be a very, very good idea. And that's a way that Dokkan can continue to release, you know, units with the same name and stuff like that and still have them be uh, very helpful across the board, right? So that that's something I do hope to see. Uh, okay, so now we're going to get Frieza's uh, AOE. Okay, so now he's up to 1.7 million. So look at the difference in Frieza, and he destroys Rosé. Look at the difference in Frieza. Uh, we saw how he was against one enemy, right, with the 60% attack and defense. But then he gets an extra 40% attack and defense and 6 key when there's two or more enemies on the field. So he is able to just do a massive, massive amount of damage right there. Very, very impressive. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're probably going to finish AJL Rose off in this phase. I mean, it, it, it does be like that. Like, you know, this phase was very weak, but there's not really too many options available right now to go, like, you know, fight a lot of units. So now let's go ahead and transition over to the uh, Ultra Full Power Goku event where I, I want to use this Frieza's active skill, right? I want to see how powerful his active skill can be. Because, uh, you know, in that fight, you have the fight against Oob, Trunks, Goten, and Gohan. I think that'll be a good spot to test this out. All right, guys. So, we're over in the Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, full power event right here. Now, this will be a good spot to test this out. So, you know, just kind of see. Right now, if Frieza would hit this Goku, I think he'd do somewhere around a million linked up with Turles. Let's go ahead and use uh, this dude from the Broly movie right here, um, which should lower Goku's defense now. So... Uh, now we should be able to see uh, second form freeze to get that second part of his passive uh, to activate. Well, I don't know if I want to call it second part exactly, but another part of his passive, right? So, yep, 1.85 million. So that sure did activate. So you could, you know, l l let's think of it in like Super Battle Road terms or something like that, right? Uh, you could activate his, uh, like the extra little part, uh, you know, where the enemy has the defensive down. Uh, either with some sort of unit that could do it themselves, like Metal Cooler, for example, uh, or like a Nurse Chi-Chi item. I think Nurse Chi-Chi is one of the best items you can use for Super Battle Road, uh, and then it will allow you to get extra damage out of this Frieza. Uh, the most malevolent clan team got a massive buff for Super Battle Road. Like, that team is going to be able to handle Super Battle Road way, way easier now. Uh, be oh, actually, I'll, do fr I'll have Frieza go in this first spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, there we go. Oh, this is going to be a Dokkan attack, it looks like, as well. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a big-time shot. But the most, you know, the most malevolent clan Wicked Bloodline team, like, they're crazy for <laughs> Super Battle Road. Because, like, they got Tech Gold and Frieza, who is, like, you know, a top five best defensive unit in the game or something like that. They also have now two strong AoE units. He got Metal Cooler, who is an outstanding leader for the team. You know, great free-to-play LR and LR Metal Cooler. You have Physical Full Power Frieza, who's like a top-tier unit still, even though he's, you know, four years old at this point. So, I mean, there's just the... <laughs> Wicked Bloodline team certainly did get uh, quite a strong buff. Um, okay, so this... Yeah, this is actually a pretty good rotation for our boy Second Form Frieza. Uh, now, I don't actually want to finish off Goku on this turn, though. Uh, hmm. I don't want to super with Turles. I think I'm actually going to... You know, whatever. We'll, we'll just do this. I'll just make sure not to super attack too much uh, in the next turn. Because I, I just want to make sure that three of uh, the units between, you know, Oob, Gohan, Goten, and Gohan... I just need to make sure that three of them... Uh, are still alive going into the next phase. Uh, and then at that point, uh, we're going to be good to go. You know, we'll be able to see Frieza's active skill, Pleasurable Frieza time. Such a, such an interesting name. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. So I could probably do this. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me have Metal Cooler attack Trunks because he's not likely to finish off Trunks. Uh, we'll have Frieza go ahead and attack Oob just in case he, he just in case he gets an additional super, uh, and then we'll have this SCR Frieza go ahead and attack Goten right there. Uh, I would like to take damage right here, yes, because uh, if we take damage, uh, then this will allow us to get big bad bosses in the next turn. That's the other thing about this. Oh, none of them are supering. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, but that's the good thing if for this Frieza, 
the second form Frieza, he has very good links. Brutal Beatdown, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe is Most Malevolent, Prodigies, Fear and Faith, and Big Bad Bosses. Then he also has Shattering the Limit. But, like, that's, that's very impressive. That is very, very good for a free-to-play unit and his links. Um, okay, so now we have Frieza's ability. Uh, you know, Darkness Toa and Turles are both support-type units, so that's going to be good. Uh, I believe Turles has, what, Brutal Beatdown... And Turles also has a uh, fierce battle, but Frieza doesn't have that. Turles could activate big bad bosses, though, for this Frieza, which could be good. Um, okay, so I'm going to have Frieza do the uh, pleasurable Frieza time on Oob right there. Uh, that way, you know, none of the attacks. Okay, okay, so let's see this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Krillin, no! <laughs> All right, so what this does... That greatly lowers attack and defense right there. That's <laughs> that's a pretty good ability. So he, he supreme damage greatly lowers attack and defense. So what that will do is that will make sure to activate Frieza's ability, where uh, you know if he's targeting an enemy that has a defense down status, he's going to do a lot extra uh, damage right there. Um, okay, so I don't know why the symbol didn't pop up because it definitely applied that to Ooh. Um, all right, let me go ahead and have Turles attack our boy uh, Trunksu right here. Uh, and then Frieza can go ahead and get his attack off. Especially if we activate Big Bad Bosses right now. This is going to be, uh, I think, a very, very impressive number from Frieza. Because we have got pretty much his entire passive active. You know, two or more enemies. Enemy got the attack down, or the, excuse me, the defensive down status. So this should be pretty solid right here. All right, and let's see. Frieza does... Oh, 2.46 million! Oh! <laughs> well! <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I will take that. Uh, as a free EZA unit, he's got the... <laughs> oh, man. All right. That, yeah, this... This is the type of free-to-play unit that your boy is looking to see. Like, they really, really did a good job with the second form Frieza right here. Uh, I'm actually going to use a Princess... No, nah, no, nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Wait, no. I'm going to use a Princess Saint because Full Power Frieza is not going to get a lot of defense until after he attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. So I definitely recommend everyone farm up this Frieza. Uh, I know his EZA weakness is actually to the Namekian category. Uh, but, it, you know, the Namekian category is the worst category in the game. But, you know, you are going to have a, a strong amount of uh, SCR units. Like, there's a very strong pool of SCR units that you can probably pretty easily beat uh, the Frieza EZA with. Because as far as I saw... Uh, Frieza does not have any extra damage reduction to super or extreme types. You know, I, this info I'm getting from the uh, Dokkan Wiki, by the way. So, uh, and especially, it's one of these like free to play EZAs. Uh, so I don't imagine that it's going to be too difficult to get done, right? Like I, I think just any like decent SCR team probably will be able to get this done. Uh, but this is just another fantastic moment for Dokkan right here. Uh, a version of a character in second form Frieza that we had no re decent card for. Uh, and now he's a top tier unit, I would say. Uh, at least for World Tournament or Super Battle Road. 1.85 million right there. And he's completely free to play. Easy A, all that stuff. Just, that's the type of thing that Dokkan has got to continue doing. Like those, these free to play units are just very, very powerful. Very, very impressive overall. So... I mean, you guys let me know what you think um, of the second form Frieza. Again, I, I really want to see what he's capable of doing uh, once we head into the world tournament. Uh, I'm going to try and utilize this guy as a world tournament leader, uh, run the full transformation boost uh, team, you know, have LR Cell, uh, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, the AGL Frieza. I think all of those units together could make a very, very formidable uh, world tournament team that would be capable of, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe like I was able to get 27, maybe I'll be able to get higher this time up to like top 20. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of everything and I'll catch you guys next time.